world famous Minnesota surgeon who pioneered organ transplants has died. Dr. John Najarian was once the chief of surgery at the University of Minnesota and treated thousands of patients. But tonight, his son told me he will be remembered for much more than that. John Najarian was a giant in the medical field who started off small, the son of Armenian immigrants. He lost his father to um, literally the flu, and he thought that was ridiculous that his father would pass away from something as simplistic as that, and it started to frustrate him, and then he had an appendix issue as well himself, and made the decision right then and there. He says, I need to make medicine better. Najarian played college football at Cal Berkeley. After serving as a heart surgeon in the Air Force, he became intrigued with liver and kidney transplants. The U of M had the foresight to snag Najarian in 1967. He wanted to press the envelope. He really wanted to push surgery further and further and further. And I think what stands out for me most, Frank, of all is uh, what he did for pediatric surgery that a lot of people were shying away from because it was so difficult. One of those difficult cases was Jamie Fisk. Najarian transplanted her liver when she was only an infant in 1982. She is fit as a fiddle. She is absolutely normal. Her liver is functioning normally. Every other aspect of her tests are all normal. His genius and skill allowed John Najarian to pioneer the entire field of transplant medicine and save thousands of lives. He was as nice to the janitor as he was to his peers. As a matter of fact, he might have been even nicer uh, to, to those guys. But he just was a guy that saw people for who they were and, uh, and, and, and loved, loved just meeting more and more people all the time. Dr. John Najarian is survived by three sons and several grandchildren. He was 92 years old. Pete says his father's greatest passion was watching his sons play football.